back in here at five in the morning. Hey, yo. Nope. Next day. That's tiring. Yeah, yeah, getting it in. She done ran about a mile. Now she's doing some cardio. Well, she's been doing cardio, but now she's doing some walking. Faster cardio. I'm doing a lower body workout today, this morning. That's Focusing on my lower body and my core. About to hit the court in about an hour. Got about a 40 minute drive. Yeah. On Tuesdays, it's, it's golf It's golf day. So tonight, we're gonna play top golf. So we get our workout, we get our workout done in the morning. And then we come back, go home and put some work in. And we have fun at night. Truth life, baby. <laughs> So I'm back in the studio, as you can tell. So I'm back in France. It was a wild summer, crazy summer. The footage is from a dated time to today is a whole nother time. It was just crazy for me, man. These last two, three weeks was really, really fast paced for me. But this whole vlog was about should you play pickup in the summer? First thing first, let's talk about playing pickup. Whenever you play pickup, you can create some bad habits and you also can get a lot of confidence. So let's look at the cons. So basically it's pros and cons. So let's look at the cons first. The cons of pickup is you get bad habits, big time risk to injury, false validation, meaning you think you're doing something and you might not be doing anything because the guy that you're going against is just not as talented as you or it's not putting as much intensity as you on the court. You can lose some IQ. It's, you can lose some IQ. And the two big ones I said was, you can get a false indication that you're actually getting better and the big old risk. It, that's just two big ones that you got that I, that I focused on. The pros of playing pickup is though, if you playing really well in the summer, you playing against some good competition, and you seen the ball going in, you becoming a go-to guy, and people around the city is giving you all of that confidence, it can really get your confidence up. And what we do in our communities, especially in Houston, we like to say who's the best in the city. 
and you know we take that to Europe and we implement that in our game that confidence that we built in the states we bring it to Europe so that's one big time pro another big time pro is feeling contact feeling uh, you're not just working out against air you got someone that you're going against you know you've, you game like situations um, another big time pro I would say is you can get in shape but you have to play the right way to get in shape you have to be on your own agenda whenever you're playing pickup because like i said one of the biggest cons is you can create a lot of bad habits but if you discipline and you focus on getting better you can get in real good shape and be prepared for the season now let me tell you the truth about pickup it's one of the pros i said guys can be on their own agenda in Houston, you know, we got a variety of guys that come in, guys that play overseas, we got NBA guys, we got guys that's in the neighborhood that used to play, we got guys that's just in the neighborhood that just love basketball. But what you got to understand is most of those guys are on their own agenda. NBA guys got a reason they're in there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. With that being said, you have to be on your own agenda too because you're in there for a reason. Like I said, one of the biggest cons is there's a big risk of you being injured. So don't be in there wasting your time. You should be playing pickup so that you can get better. Not just because you're bored, there's nothing else to do, you want to get on the court. It's too much risk in it. Play pickup with a purpose. Don't play pickup just to be playing pickup because you can create so much bad habits and it's a big risk of injury. One thing that I've noticed over the years is that the authenticity of pickup is being diluted with the upcoming of mixtapes. You know, guys are bringing cameras in the gym and guys are just not playing real basketball anymore. You know, guys are doing everything for the camera and it's diluting the game. Another thing I noticed is that more NBA players are into playing pickup with overseas guys and you know the normal guys around the neighborhood. You guys gotta humble yourself because y'all come in the gym and you know a lot of you guys have this big time ego because I guess you're playing at a higher level and whenever these guys give it to you, you don't know how to handle it because it's a shot at your ego. But these guys mess up the game a lot by walking off, by constantly getting these petty foul calls or just stopping mid play. Nobody got time for that. So like I said, you're playing and risking your, your career while this guy's out here, he's just out here for himself. You know, pickup is better when everyone feels like they're equal and we out here just hooping. We out here just hooping. That's the type of pickup game you want to be a part of. You don't want to be a part of a pickup game that's um, on Instagram all over the place where guys, you know, got unlimited highlight footages and then you get in the gym and it's like dudes are walking back on defense. It's one one on one the whole time. There's no no movement, no screens, no nothing. Let me tell you something else. How you can separate yourself in pickup. This is something this is the way that you play pickup. You play defense, you sprint, you run the court, you rebound, and you try to make right plays. You constantly move. That's how you get in shape. If you win, cool. If you don't, as long as you do those things, you're gonna get better. Because in pickup, you will see it, man. Guys are walking the whole time. Guys ain't getting back on defense. Guys ain't boxing out. I mean, guys want to play for two hours, but after 30 minutes, the quality of the game goes way down. So get in there, man. Get you a good 45 minutes strong, playing hard. Work on your game. Work on getting better when you're playing pickup. Now, me, myself, personally, I rarely play pickup anymore. Why? I have a consistent job. If you have a consistent job, especially while you're playing overseas, that means that you're playing for 10, 11 months out of the year. It makes no sense to play pickup in the summer. Every day. You can play sporadically, maybe once or twice, but it makes no sense to play pickup because you've been, you essentially are playing pickup year round. NBA players are doing that because a lot of NBA player seasons are done in May or April or something like this. So they have a lot of time till the, till the season starts again. So they got to play pickup because they have no choice. But if you just coming home from Italy, Spain, France, bro, you better get you some rest because the body needs it. Now, if you have, if you're inconsistent with getting job, 
I understand. You have to play pickup because you still need that. But if you're consistently getting jobs and you got a contract for the next season, you're at risk all the time. Because if you return to that country and you can't pass the physical, contract voided. And the thing is about NBA players, we don't have the luxury of falling back on 50, 60 million dollars. These guys are getting paid 50, 60 million dollars. We all know that overseas players are tremendously underpaid. Like, since a few guys getting money out here, but for the, the most of us, we ain't getting no bread. So you can't afford to lose that contract. Play it with a purpose, be careful, and use it on your own agenda. Appreciate you guys. If you got to the end of this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. Share it with your friends, any hoopers out there that need to know something about pickup. Please, please, please share it with them. Check out the website, tyronjohnson.com. Download my new ebook. And I'm out to the next video. Peace.